Hello everyone, Sir Wes here of iSchool Forks and welcome back to EduNation. We're going to show you today how we project, also known as mirroring, your Android or iOS devices in your laptops or MacBooks. There are a number of applications out there and most of them are actually paid apps. But today, I'll teach you how to mirror your smartphones to your laptops using the best and also free application which you rarely see in the internet. I'm also going to show you the application that I personally use which is a paid application though I'm not an advertiser of their app. I'm just going to show you this in case you'd like to use it since I've been using this app for more than a year already. This is especially useful when you're trying to present something that needs to be marked up or when you wish to present a mathematical solution that needs you to write the processes of that solution. So let's begin! First, open your web browser and go to teamviewer.com. On their website, click Download for Free button and wait for your installation file to download. Install this application and just follow the step-by-step -step procedure as prompted. I already have mine installed here so I'll just open it. You will be asked to sign in or create a new account when the application opens. It is required for you to create an account if this is your first time to use it, so click on Create My Account. Your browser will automatically open and redirect you to the sign-up page of TeamViewer. Just type your account details and click sign up. I already have an account so I will just sign in. Once signed in, click on Remote Control which is found in the left panel of the TeamViewer application window. I purposely blurred this part of the panel since these are my remote IDs. Next, go to your mobile device and install TeamViewer Quick Support application. There are a number of TeamViewer apps in the Play Store and App Store, but you need to search for this particular app and install it. Once installed, click on Open. Once the application opens, it will generate a device ID for your smartphone. Wait for it to generate. Type the generated ID in your TeamViewer application in your laptop under the Partner ID and click Connect. You will notice that a status bar is shown in the lower panel of your TeamViewer window telling you that your laptop is trying to connect to your smartphone. In your smartphone device, a status bar will also appear that informs you that there is an incoming connection to your smartphone, and a prompt will show asking you to allow or cancel the connection made by your laptop to your device. Click on Allow. On your laptop, click on Start Broadcast repeatedly until your device and your laptop will have the same display. Once this is done, your smartphone is already mirrored on your laptop. Now whatever you do in your smartphone will automatically be displayed in your laptop via TeamViewer. In a few seconds, TeamViewer will show a prompt notification asking you to like the application, buy license, or just use it for non-commercial purposes. Just click OK since you're only using it for personal consumption. Back on the mirrored window, now you can present to your audience anything you'd like from your smartphone. All applications in your smartphone, free or paid, can be mirrored on your laptop using TeamViewer. Though as you can see, since this is a free application, the pixels of your smartphone device mirror here is a bit lower compared to your device. Nonetheless, everything works perfect. If you wish to stop the mirroring of your device, just click the upper red bar on your smartphone and it will prompt you to cancel or stop the screen broadcasting of your smartphone to your laptop. Once you click stop, it will automatically turn off the mirroring to your laptop. Before we're going to show you the next application which I personally use and recommend, I'd like to request everyone to please visit our fundraising campaign which will launch in order to help our channel gather enough resources to upgrade our system. Any small amount you would donate will be used to improve our facilities so that we can provide more instructional videos like this one for all of you. If you'd be so kind, please visit this link which is also shown in our description box below for more details. Back to our tutorial. Now I'm going to show you the application that I personally use to mirror on my laptop. Open your browser and go to airspurals.com. On the products menu, click on Reflector Teacher. Download the trial version which is good for 7 days. This app has a lot of things to offer and you'll surely love it. Just install the app just like any other application and open it. Once opened, it will show either on the top of your window if you're using Mac OS or on your taskbar which is at the bottom if you're using Microsoft Windows. On your smartphone, 
Just click the screen mirroring option of your device and it will detect your laptop automatically. Click it and it will automatically mirror your smartphone without any tedious steps like the previous Steam Viewer application a while ago. Now your smartphone automatically shows in your laptop with all its features. Even when you tilt your phone to portrait mode, either left or right, the screen mirroring will automatically adjust your mobile phone display on your laptop. Let's open one of my presentations last year when I was invited as a resource speaker for Computer Assisted Learning or CAL when they came to Davos City for a two-day workshop. I'm really not fond of PowerPoints. I really find its effects lame. That's why I've been using Keynote as my presentation app for quite some time now. So that's it. These are the best two applications you can use to mirror your smartphones to your laptop, which you can use for any presentations you'd like in the future. If you find this video useful, share it to others as well and let's help one another. Click that subscribe button to be updated of our videos and hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. This is Sir West of iSchoolForms and thank you for watching.